All right, I'm back at the hive in Grantsville. I last night I decided that since I have another hive, I may as well combine this hive with that other hive, make one strong hive. So these don't have a queen, and it's going to be a couple of months before I can get a queen, or at least a month before I can get a queen. These bees are pretty much screwed and they're not going to be able to be doing anything so I may as well put them into a hive where they can actually be be productive. Hopefully I can get uh, a queen and put a hive back here before these apples blossom. I think I've got a little while before they do. It's uh, March 17th so I should have a bit of time and uh, yeah, I'll just be able to put bees back here as soon as I can get a queen. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, transfer all the frames from this hive into this box here. Just to transport them. And I'll, uh, I'll do that. Okay, I got all the bees transferred into this box. Sorry about the wind. The bees don't like it either. It was pretty easy. It's kind of a cooler day and the bees are easy to move. I got most of them in here. There's still a few bees buzzing around, but there's not much I can do about that. Alright, put the lid on. Yeah, I really like this uh, brush. Works great for brushing the bees around. It's just a part of a tree here. Anyway, I got this. Now I'm just going to take it and put it on top of the hive in Salt Lake. See you there. This is how I transported them. We just had the box in here kind of on an angle so it wouldn't slide around. Looks like a couple of bees got out, but other than that, looks pretty good. They don't sound like they're angry. And I'm, I'm now here at the garden. I'm going to go take them over to that other hive. Alright, I got it over here. Remind me next time I'm transporting a hive not to leave them with so much honey. This thing was quite heavy. Anyway, I got it over here, and uh, right now I'm going to test to see if they'll be aggressive, so I'm going to catch one of these bees. Okay. I'm just going to kind of instruct her to go into the entrance here. It's not her original hive, so it's taking her a little while. But I can tell the other bees that are in there didn't want to attack her. So, <laughs> so that's a, a good sign. Not definitive, of course. So here's these bees. You see which side they're on. All right. You know what? I forgot something. I'm going to go back to the car and I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. I had to go get my queen excluder. I'll show, you, I'll show you what that's for in a second. There's another bee right here. You get a hold of her. I'm going to put her in the entrance here. Seem to go in all right. <laughs> okay. So now, what I'm gonna do is take this lid off. <laughs> that lid fits pretty good actually. All right. There's a couple of wasps hanging out here. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, not too many bees up the top here. <laughs> they smell better. Put the 
queen excluder on. Now there's two reasons I'm putting this queen excluder in. One, it'll slow the bees uh, from moving between the boxes. It'll make them move slower. Because uh, this, this mesh is just big enough for a worker bee to squeeze through. And it actually takes quite a bit of time for them to get through it. That's why I don't use queen excluders. Is it to inhibits their production of honey? Or it inhibits their mobility into the supers. But I find they work great for this. It's kind of like uh, the newspaper method. How the newspaper slows down the movement of the bees. But the thing about the newspaper method is the last time I used it, uh, the bees never chewed through the paper. And I ended up coming through and just cutting them open. I guess they didn't like the taste of the Salt Lake Tribune or something. Anyway, I got that. Now I'm just going to set the other box right on top of there. Uh, let me set the camera down for a second. Voila. I said there was two reasons I put the queen excluder on and the second reason was just in case there is like a virgin queen still in this box she won't be able to get through into the other box and harm the, the good queen I'm pretty sure that there's that's not going to be the case but that's just in case and uh, I forgot to mention earlier that I checked these guys and they are definitely queenless. Even after being confined in this one box for several days on some nice empty comb with plenty of pollen and honey, there's still no eggs. So they're definitely queenless. I can tell by the way they act, they're they kind of been moping around. They've probably been queenless for nearly a month now, or whenever the queen died during the winter. It's unfortunate, but this is what I gotta do. I'm probably gonna switch lids here, but and of course I'm gonna brush these bees into the box. And the weather's nice enough. I may decide to actually brush the bees off of these frames directly into this box, and then just and then uh, then just take this back home. The idea here is that uh, the bees in this box will, uh, the bees here will provide more bees for this this hive so they can produce more brood and build up faster. Otherwise I may not have been able to split this hive at all this year, but using this method I should at least be able to recover the one hive that I combined. And instead of doing nothing for the next two months, these bees will be busy producing brood and gathering honey for this hive here. Anyway, I'll, I'll come back in a little while if I've got anything more to film. All right. See, this is what's good about these standard bee boxes, is if you need to, the parts are all interchangeable. And I was able to just put this on there pretty easily. You know, I kind of like the, the contrast between the, the white and the green. Looks kind of cool, actually. But yeah, I listen to the bees here. They don't sound like they're angry. I think they'll take, per, no, I think they'll take, uh, take these other girls on just fine. Won't have any trouble. I saw a couple of the bees that I put in here flying in and out of the entrance. Uh, figuring out where they're at. So these they should take off just fine. I'll come back here in a couple of days and I'll take this box and I'll brush any of the remaining bees out of it into here and then I'm gonna take this back home. I kinda like this brush. I should patent this or something. 
The bristles are nice and soft. Has a wonderful pine cement scent. The bees don't try to sting it at all. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave this here so I can use that. On uh, Tuesday, I think I'll come and do that. So yeah, I'm pretty much done here. See, see one of the bees came back, went out for a fly and then came back. There she goes. All right. That's the end of that. For now. I'll probably come back. I'll probably uh, put in this episode. I'll probably show the part where I'm brushing the bees down into it. Yeah, I'll see you then. All right, let's see if that uh, worked. Certainly bees here. Actually, there's two different colors of bees. So that's cool. You see there's one color there. The, the bees that I combined them with were lighter colored. And then the darker colored bees were the ones that were here. You can see they're all bringing back pollen. Probably from these uh, trees right here. These elm trees are starting to bloom. All right, so I'm going to open them up and uh, see what's going on in the top box. I think I want to remove this top box so I can confine them down so they'll uh, be stimulated to produce more. Big rock. Kind of weird. Yep. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be standing in front of the entrance like that. Yeah, it looks like a lot of these have stayed up in the top box here. There's a few of the darker colored bees mixed in with them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these empty frames off and then brush the bees down into the other boxes. A nice big frame of honey here. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut the video here just so it's not as long. Okay. When you're brushing the bees off the frame, you want to do it kind of at an angle like this. Because the cells are angled upwards. If you do it against those cells, it could actually injure the bees. You see, I'm just brushing the bees from the frames off into the box here. And then they'll work their way down through the queen excluder into the other hive, into the other boxes. Actually, I actually had a bee fly in my ear just a little while ago, and I think it stung me inside my ear. That hasn't happened in a while. Nope, no eggs.
little brush works pretty good. It doesn't cover a very large area, but it works good to get the last bees off after you shake them. This is kind of interesting. Still recording. We got some queen cells here. They're new. There's four of them in the top of this. They just put them in there this last uh, week. There's nothing inside of them, but it's kind of cool. Looks like they're definitely trying to get ready to swarm. They didn't have any eggs or anything to put inside of those queen cells, so it didn't really do them any good. But maybe I'll use that in one of the nukes to make a split. I'm standing in front of the entrance again. <laughs> okay. There's that. See now I just thrown all the bees down in here. And they'll work their way down through this uh, screen. I'm going to put the lid back on for a little while. There it is. It might take them a while to get through that screen, so I might have to think of something else. But there you go. Now without the frames there, there'll be more more inclined to go down and join the other bees. They're already mixing, so I know they're doing pretty good. Alright, it doesn't look like they're going through the queen excluder, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove it. I can tell there's definitely no queen in there, so I shouldn't have any trouble with that. Brush. Could be a tricky operation. Try not to shake the bees off there because I'm going to put them back. In the hive. There you go. Come on, move the other way.
think my face is covered in bees, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to proceed to herd the stragglers down into the other box. Let's see. Just going to push them. Girls, go down. That's most of them. I think I doubled the number of bees that were in this hive by doing that. Should be a great boost to their uh, brood production. got stung on the ear again. They like to sting the same place over and over. <laughs> All right. I've just been watching the lost bees find their way back. Looks like most of them have, have found their way to the entrance. I'm a little tempted to open them up and see how the queen's doing, but I think it's best just to leave them alone for a couple of days. So, that's probably going to be the end. I'll just put the rock on and take that box home. See, I put it way over there so the bees didn't get confused. Alright, see you next time. <laughs>